just the basic thing you just need to read you just need to focus you need to work hard go to my phone downloaded the chinese app called chinese skill went back home on a holiday started reading chinese from the app i started from basics then i knew what confucius institute needed they needed you to do hsk so for me that was the was the main goal i read i focus on my hsk exams once i think i'm good and i can be able to take the tests i went and registered the exams did my exams passed the exams went back to confucius told them i have my hsk came with my papers right applied for the scholarship you don't need to be a confucius institute student. learning a language from your phone that is not it requires discipline Learn, learning a language is not hard it needs commitment it needs you to be there every day you listen to it every day it's not even a kid can learn a language it's so basic but you need to co be committed to be there every day to show up once you show up it comes the less you show up the less it comes it's not as difficult as people make it seem because there are even small kids who don't know about characters who don't know about tones but they can Hi, good day. Nice to have you on my channel again. Can you please reintroduce yourself? Okay, I'm Ian Matenga Moreti from Nakuru, Kenya. Kenya. Okay, so um, can you say a word in Kenya? Like, hey guys, welcome back to this channel. <laughs> in Swahili, right? Okay. Karibuni kwa channel tena. Mwepatana sisi tena tuko hapa. Kuda kuambia vile maisha tena iko. Tuwakaribishe huku mkikamu. Wege huku tuko wengi sana. Tuko wengi, tumejaza kijiji. Huku mpaka wasi anasema gaina hitu wa Kenya Ndogo. Kuda huku mna mtafil at home. Wa Kenya wamejaa, wanasoma huku. Tadaribu tu kujenga inti. Right, amazing, amazing. Oh, even if I didn't understand what you spoke, <laughs> but I think that's amazing. So, um, can you tell us your journey about, you know, being a student in China, how you learned the Chinese language? What, what, what has it been? What has the story been? Learning Chinese for me was a self-pushed program because I did not graduate from campus. So, uh, I thought to myself, what can I do to improve myself? So I decided to take Chinese as a course. And since I did not want to waste a lot of money paying school fees and doing that stuff, I, I just went to the Confucius Institute. I, I saw how people are reading. I just went to some, I just, I think I went to two classes. I realized it's just a basic thing. You just need to read. You just need to focus need to work hard go to my phone downloaded the chinese app called chinese skill went back home on a holiday started reading chinese from the app i started from basics then i knew what confucius institute needed they needed you to do hsk so for me that was the was the main goal i read i focus on my hsk exams once i think i'm good and i can be able to take the tests i went and registered the exams did my exams, passed the exams, went back to Confucius, told them I have my HSK, came with my papers right, applied for the scholarship. You don't need to be a Confucius Institute student. You don't need to have anything else. You don't have, you need to have the right knowledge. You've just talked about your experience and, I mean, learning language alone. What are the difficulties you faced? Because I mean, Chinese um, language is, is classified as one of the hardest language in the world because it has this tone, just four tones that governs it. So, how did you manage to do that alone? What um, app did you use? I actually I I learned most of my Chinese from an app called Chinese Skill. Learning a language from your phone that is not it requires discipline. Le learning a language is not hard. It needs commitment. It needs you to be there every day. You listen to it every day. It's not even a kid can learn a language. It's so basic, but you need to be committed to be there every day to show up. Once you show up, it comes. The less you show up, the less it comes. It's not as difficult as people make it seem because there are even small kids who don't know about characters, who don't know about tones, but they can speak Chinese language from here. 
So if you put your mindset into something and you believe you can do it, then you can do it. All right, that's amazing. So how did you also manage to learn in Kenya? I mean, Kenya is not a Chinese speaking country. Um, so how did you learn? How did you face the obstacle of when you learn from your phone or your computer and you, you hear English somewhere else? So how did you manage that? You just lock yourself in your room. You like. lock yourself <laughs> for three months or how many months? I actually I locked know. myself in my room for about six months. It was long holiday from my campus. Then I never went back to campus after that because I, I knew I had gotten my basics right. So for six months, never got out. I only got out to eat, to go like breathe, go breathe, have fresh air. I never even interacted with a lot of people. Everything about in my environment was Chinese. My from my phone, my laptop. I put Chinese stickers inside my room. Everything in my environment just showed me Chinese. So uh, wow. if you put your, if you need just determination and consistency, that is, it's not that hard. And if you want to make it hard, you can make it hard. If you just want to keep going out, if you, because every option was available, but you choose what you want. So I, I chose to myself, if I want to go to China, how will I, how will I go to China? Which is the easiest way, which is the only way I know to, how to. And that was the way that I knew how to. So I chose my path right, and here I am. Great, you are inspiring. I'm, I'm a bit tempted to call you a guru right now, <laughs> a language guru. <laughs> All right, so I was wondering, um, do you think learning Chinese was something you decided to do, or you just like, okay, my friends are learning, and let me just learn to, or you just search about China, you liked China, you like the language? Do you like the language first? Uh, this is a conscious decision I made because I even dropped out from campus to learn Chinese. So this is a wow. Concept. That's risky, by the way. <laughs> yes, I, you need to risk in this life. Not everything that you think is right is right, and not everything that you think is wrong is wrong. So you need to make decisions and don't be afraid to forgive yourself. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's life. Everybody has to live it, and you live it once. Amazing. So can you... Can you do something in Chinese language? Okay, so can I interview in Chinese then? Can we try? What should we ask? <laughs> okay, let me see. Just basic, I promise. Okay, I can try. If I make mistakes, you'll cut it off. Mm, okay. No. <laughs> How long have you been okay. in China? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Thank you so much, um, Ian. And hope people get inspired by this video. And hope you enjoy your stay in China. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.